All right, what we got here is a battle between old tech and new tech. We got what I would consider to be a Gen Gen 4, maybe some people might say Gen 3.5 uh, battery station here in the uh, the DJI, which we, we featured recently in, and it's Big Brother, the 1000. This is the 500. And then we're comparing it to one of the old, old standbys in this, and that is the Jackery 500. And I've been long outspoken uh, as an anti-Jackery person because I feel that they've been overpriced for what you get and that they hold on to old technology and refuse to uh, move into the new age. Anyway, we're gonna do a walk around to both of these units, then we're gonna do a teardown compare, comparing the two. And then we're gonna talk about pricing, features, specs, and all that, and what I mean about all the different generations and all that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. Now, just as a quick side-by-side, just to kind of do apples to apples, if you see the width, these are very similar boxes. Of course, Jackery has the obtrusive, you know, handle on top. This has all the information, everything you need right here. We got, uh, let's see here, we got two of the 120s. Okay, real quick, I want to talk about this port right here. This is the SDC Lite port. It is specific to DJI. The, the 500 and the 1000 both have it. And what it can do is they have a bunch of cable accessories because this is dual in and out. It's DC. It bypasses the inverter. And then what that does is that gives you direct power to the, the battery bank so you have no loss with the inverter. And here's some of the stuff you can use it on. You can get the power outlet adapter so you can charge your, your unit directly from your car's uh, cigarette port, your, your power outlet, as they call it these days. And it's just the cable that comes out and it's got the little junction box in the middle, plugs in right there to your to your port. Next one is basically the reverse. It puts a power outlet port, aka cigarette port, on the box itself so you can plug in all your kind of mobile accessories when you're using them outside of the car or inside of the car for that matter. Then we also have the SDC to XT60. For those of you who don't know, XT60 is a really common power port that's used by a lot of electronic devices. So you can hook this to up to all sorts of things to do uh, whatever kind of functions you want with it. The other thing is they have the solar panel adapter modules. Those plug in, this is what allows you to control solar panels and plug all the solar into this thing that you want. And then last but not least, they've got the uh, power adapter SDC to whichever version of the, uh, of the drones that you want. We've got the charging, we've got slow charging, uh, fast charging versus slow charging. Uh, we've got two USB-A's, two USB-C's, nice bright display on this side. We've got uh, 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 the, the plug there, it's a, you know, you're gonna need a very specific plug to plug that in, you know, the, the power brick as it were. You've got the car lighter jack, which I don't know how, many, how important that is. We've got two barrel plugs. We've got one, two, three USB-A, no USB-C, and we've got one. We got, we've got one, 110. As far as the side, it does have the old flashlight on it, which honestly, at least it doesn't do the flashy thing. I still think flashlights on power stations are dumb for the most part. There's been a few that are okay. Uh, as far as this, the outside of the, the DJI, you can see the DJI logo up top. On the, let's look side by side, lengthwise. They've kind of sloped the back of this so it really doesn't, the handle doesn't stand out nearly as much. Uh, and it gives you a nice flat top to work with. Whereas the, of course, the Jackery has this, which I've said many, many times, I feel this is a deal breaker for many of these units, but they're still doing it. Um, and then, you know, the rear of this unit, very simple air intake right there. And then on the Jackery, those air intakes are on the side. All right, tear down on the Jackery is really simple. You just have to remove the two side vent covers. They have Allen screws. Actually, you know what? It, they should be bolts, but they're screw threads, which is odd. Not sure why that is. Everything else on this is a Phillips. Well, I should say the side and the feet are Allen. Everything else is a Phillips, but it all pops up, uh, apart pretty easily. It's not a, a big deal. It's super easy, actually.
Then all that's left here is to deface the bottom sticker. All right, let's get dug in here. The fan is the first thing we want to talk about because that's where the majority of noise comes from. And as you can see here, it's not even resting up against its cushion. It's just attached directly to the frame. Yes, the cushion here will prevent it from like some impacts and stuff, but it's not going to help with uh, noise reduction. And I, I always feel the best way to keep something from, you know, hitting something is to mount it firmly. And it doesn't feel like it's mounted firmly. Here we can see the board itself. It's not a badly designed board. It's not like you don't look at this board and go, wow, a lot of engineering went into this. It feels a lot like, hey, let's stick as much stuff as we can here wherever it goes. And that's where it goes. Uh, as far as the battery, it's just sitting right on the batteries here. There's not like the foam here, the, I call it foam, like technically it's foam, it's foam paper. There's not much to it. It's really just a tra you know a battery holder on top, a battery holder on the bottom. As to the batteries, I'll give you a close up here. I couldn't figure out who makes these. They just came up as generic in my search. Maybe if you've got more information, you can put it down below in the comments. That would help out. But they're basic 18650s, as I can tell. Nothing to write home about here. Again, kind of like the rest of the box. There's the back side of the display. We got, I said, you know, look, we got a little bit of engineering going on here. We got some of the goop placed here and there. In strategic areas, it's not terrible. I mean, look at the sheen on this board. Clearly there's a, uh, I think it's called a conformal coating on the board here to protect it some. But again, there isn't a situation where this, it doesn't feel like it was specifically designed for this use case. It feels more like, hey, here's what we can plug in and we can make work. Now let's compare this to the DJI. There's that. Oh my gosh. And look at all that material. They, they are protecting this board like nobody's business. Oh my gosh. And look at the back on the front of it there. That is intense. Here we're down here, we can see the cells. And I'm not gonna dig into the cells. I'm not trying to zap this thing. I just wanted to see what was on the board. That is, that's a lot of protection there. This is, if you've seen some of the other stuff I've taken apart, you know when you look at something like this, they are, they're serious about this, custom boards on this. This is not something they OEM from someone else. Let's get up close in here so you can see the construction that we're talking about. It's even sitting, it's sitting in a rubber grommet. Look at this. So you have, you have this fan sitting down in here like that. So that's cushioned. And then it's got this little rubber hat that sits on it like that. And then it's got this plate that sits on top of it. That's why, I mean, sound-wise, I haven't heard anything from these devices. They're just super quiet. All right, let's do a speed round talking about the specs. The Jackery, five years old, running lithium-ion batteries. Uh, they're more power dense, but they, uh, let's see here, they have that problem of getting a little toasty and catching on fire. Uh, and uh, the recharge cycles, I think you get 500 recharge cycles out of that box. That means you can recharge it and use it every single day for about a year and a half. Uh, it doesn't have as many ports. A lot of the ports are kind of outdated. It has the handle on the top, which I despise. The display on this is, again, it's a five-year-old LCD display. It looks like something that should be on my calculator rather than in a $500 electronic device. And I, and I do, I think I rightly categorize this as a Gen 2 power station. Um, as, and now to be clear, Actually, we'll, we'll circle back around to what Jackery's doing next. Now, the DJI, I would say, I could hear an argument for 3.5. I called it a Gen 4. I could, I could hear the argument for 3.5. We'll, we'll leave it up to you. Do you. Is this a Gen 4 or Gen 3.5? The point is, LFP batteries. All right, not, not as small, yet they managed to fit the same amount of power in the same size, if not slimmer, package. Uh, it's got, I, I think, better engineering. It's got a way better dis display screen. It's got more ports. Uh, it's got ports that no one, you know, no one else currently has. Uh, it, in the recharge on the LFP batteries there, 
you're looking at, I believe it was 4,000 cycles. Uh, I did the math on it and it came out to be over 10 years, like well over 10 years. That's if you re discharge it every day and charge it above 80% every day for every day for 10 years. And that's what these batteries are rated for. Now, will you get that? Maybe not. But again, same with the Jackery. They're saying 500. Maybe you get that. Maybe not. All right. LFP batteries have been around for a long time. In fact, Someone told me that that technology actually came out before the standard lithium ion. I don't know. Maybe you can confirm that down in the comments. So the question then is, why is Jackery selling this for $500 when DJI is selling next gen stuff for the same price? It's not like DJI is known for their budget options. Okay. Now, as I was alluding to before, uh, Jackery does have a new version coming out. It's got a folding handle. It's got LFP batteries. It's got a better screen. It's not a great screen. It's got a better screen. It has app control, just like the DJI. It's getting into it, and it's coming in at a solid Gen 3. Problem is, the Gen 3 party's wrapping up, folks, and Gen 4 is launching right now. We, we've been showing some Gen 4 stuff that, that's already launched this past week. Uh, it's, like, it's like Jackery showed up, and uh, people are like, you're, dude, you're about a year, two years late here. Uh, and on top of that, they're selling them for the same price. And that's kind of something that irks me is this is $500. And Jackery has on their website the, the next gen version of this box for the same price. And it feels like they're trying to, and they're not clear about which ones are which. It feels like they're just hoping like, hey, they can sucker some people into paying full price for old tech. And then they, and then once it's all gone, then they'll start shouting from the heavens that, oh, this is the new LFP. This has new all that other stuff. But right now they're being kind of whisper quiet about it. If you go to the product detail page, you'll see it. But, you know, any other companies like right on the front page, hey, totally updated, new battery tech, the whole nine yards. And Jackery's just kind of like, yeah, no, they're either or. Same thing. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. Anyway, maybe I'm, I'm taking this too far. Uh, take it with a grain of salt. This is a sponsored video. I think it's a sponsored video. I don't remember. Anyway, I'll put it, like, there'll be the disclaimer and stuff and then down below or whatever. Just assume it's a sponsored video. How about that? Uh, by, by DJI, not by Jackery. And uh, so, you know, t take a look at that. Take a look at the specs. Do your own, you know, research on it. Don't listen to just me. Watch some other videos. See what other people are saying about DJI. See what other people are saying about Jackery. <laughs> I'd love to hear what you have to say. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.